Hey guys, what's up? It's Steph here, and today we're out with a couple of usuals. Don't hit my, don't hit me. My spikes will actually just like bounce that right back anyway. So we've got Dig Dug, Lucky Lou, and the new guy over here, John. <laughs> so you're gonna love him, and she he's got us he's, in an apple tree over here. Yeah, we are in a beautiful apple tree. Yeah. Lou's kind of blocking it a Creepy. little bit, but anyway, so we're at a property that dates back to 1774. And lots of area to swing, so be acres of yeah, and we've got yeah. all day. Yes, Woo! so Woo! we'll be back with you on the first good dig. Shit, wow! It won't be long. I promise you that. It won't be. All right, I just got my first good target for the day. We are dealing with a four-inch frost layer right now, so it's pretty tough to dig. But I just got what looks like a dog tag. Can't get the year off of it just yet. It looks like 1920. 1928, I think. Let me brush that off real quick. Yep, so it is indeed a 1928 dog tag. Thompson, Connecticut. Nice old one. All right, we're going to keep going. The dog's coming over. He's pretty excited about something. I don't think it's silver. I think it's silver. I don't have one yet. Yes, it is. Is it really? That is a silver thimble all day. It had silver thimble. Every day. Look, I'm yes. wiping off like the tarnish right now. Yes. Oh my gosh. Look how big that is. Wow. That is freaking awesome. That's first silver thimble. Yes. That I got a ton of thimbles, but sick. no silver ones. Yeah. It's awesome. Okay, great. We're going to spray you. this off. Sweet. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, is it? So we sprayed this off a little bit. It is huge. It's a size nine. You want to roll that over to the size again? Do 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 do. If it wants to focus, it's so shiny because it's silver. Doug is almost doubtful, but definitely. Only because it's yeah. so dark. But no, yeah, no. Well, that's just yeah. the tone. Usually, I mean, when they're not silver, they're a lot uglier. Awesome. So it's 100 to 150 years old. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Congrats. All right, so I've got a target here. It was a really bouncy low 20s signal and I was pinpointing what I thought was a rock but it looks like a button or something and I don't know what the I don't know what this is it almost looks like a silver plated or something it's very heavy so maybe it's lead uh, let me clean this up a little bit I'm curious all right so I just brushed this off a little bit the attachment point on the back has me thinking this is maybe some kind of bit boss or um, old furniture hardware, like Colonial. So that's pretty cool. You can kind of see the old hand molding. I think this is made by hand, honestly. So it's very old, and it rang out pretty well. All right, back with you on the next. All right, just found my next target. It was actually only about three inches deep. So this plug must have taken me 10 minutes because it was inside of the frost layer. It's this pretty cool little buckle. And it looks fairly modern. I think that's silver plating, if anything. It might be some different kind of metal, I'm not sure. Then you can see these clasps on the back. And this was also in the hole. So, not sure what it is, but it's pretty cool. All right. Be back with you on the next target. Hey. Canadian Penny. Hey, come tell me what you Damn, did I call that one, huh? What, what? Like my psychic abilities. Yeah, he was yelling coin, 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 coin. Let me see. What I didn't even get to see it. Look at leafage. Oh, it's, leafage. It's a teeny tiny one. 1974. Oh. That's the year my sister was born. Oh, okay. All right, well, so it's a Canadian, not even real weedy, but, you know. Yeah. Okay. First coin of the day. <laughs> they can only get better. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So I went to see Lou because he shouted he had a coin. I was about to film what I found. And it was only about an inch in the ground. Big dog in a minute. And it looks like a massive musket coin, ball. Coin. Coin, coin. So I'm really actually pretty surprised Why? that it was so shallow. I think it's a musket ball. Maybe some kind of ball bearing, I don't know, but I'm gonna call it a musket ball for right now. Huge, huge one. All right, I'll let you know what's next. Fine, 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 fine. He just, he never stops, he never stops talking. Uh, <laughs> and everyone's coming over, yay, yay. So I think I have my first semi-exciting find for the day. 
It looks like there's a two-piece button down there. I did take a quick look at it. And I think it's backside up. It's pretty. So, gotta look at it together. Oh no, but wow, is that pretty. It's not military, but wow. look at that. Wow, that's it's gonna have a lot of gold gilts on it. That's nice. That is a two-piece. It's squished, right? Yeah, it's just squished a little bit. Not squished that much, but yeah, look at that. That's pretty. Awesome. Nice. I thought it was going to be an eagle button because I just saw the back of it. <laughs> so. Sweet. But yeah, very cool. So while we're still at the hole, I sprayed this off and it's got so much gilt left on it. Really, really beautiful button. But we're going to check in with Doug because he has a few good things. Yeah, nice tombeck. Yeah, really nice tombeck. Big one. Nice little coat button. Thing. With shank. With shank, of course. And then this copper button. Copper button that sounded like a copper. Really sounded good, yeah. And I saw you and Lou standing over there. You're cherishing all the moment. There's not a lot of signals out here. So. Hey, we're having fun though. It's still early. It is. So John said he found a big button. I assume perhaps it's a dandy. Let's see. Oh, weird. I don't see anywhere for a shank in the back. No, but... That's weird. <laughs> I have no idea. It looks period to this place, though. Whatever it is. Huh. Well, it's a, maybe it's a hold button. I yeah. have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll take it, though. Yeah, all right. So, uh, Doug was on the opposite side of the field from me, but I heard a lot of screaming. And unfortunately, I missed a half dollar in terms of filming it. I'm 64 glad you dug it. half. And That's you said it's your first too. silver for the year? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good start. Yeah. I don't have any Kennedy halves, not even yeah. clad. Nice. Wow. Man, I don't dig many half dollars. That was exciting. I thought it was going to be clad. It's in really good shape, too. It was a 1248 on the CTX. I yeah. called that it might be a half dollar and they were both, they didn't know either. So <laughs> when it, it was like, ten, it was like eight or nine inches. So I'm like, oh, maybe this is a copper, but well, out pops silver. Out pops Woo! this, it's not catching the light right there. It is, dang. Yeah, I dug two halves in a row last year, like a month apart. Awesome. But and I walkers, dug it out with my fingers too. So I made sure I didn't scratch it. Yep. <laughs> Cause sometimes you tend to do that. Oh yeah, I get excited. So two silvers Sweet. for Doug today. Doug's kind of it's Doug's day. Yeah, and that doesn't happen a lot. How come we didn't do a quarter contest today? Dang. I I asked that wow. after you dug the silver thimble. You know, but it's it's kind of fun to watch Doug win for the day because it's rare. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> yeah. Usually kicks everyone's butt. Yeah, he does. Nice. I'm glad you're having an awesome day. Thank you. No problem. Here's Still your early. Here's your Heffola back. Oh, thank you. Sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And now someone else is yelling. This guy. I'm not surprised. Number 10? I Maybe. Hate, I have four for the year. It's kind of small. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's separated here, probably. Wow, wow, wow. Catching up to you. Am yeah. I? Yeah. That's no, the one set is actually kind of small. Let me get this in the sunlight and actually focus. It's very hard for me to see what's going on. You know what's funny? Oh, good, the wind, yay. Well, then it probably is a braided hair. And yes, we have positive ID. It is a braided hair. Woo! Beautiful. Nice Number 10, baby. <laughs> Number 10. You started how many months ago? Um, I don't know, like 10, 11? Yeah. yeah. Wow. He's got the luck stroke, kind of like May of last year. So he's not even out of Thank year you. yet. I know. Yeah. Whew. Awesome. See, they're still here. Don't they're still here. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job. Thank you. All right. So I got a 19, 20, 21 signal. And it's still in situ. I just flipped it over my shovel. Looks like a big dandy button. I do believe. Actually, it's kind of thick. Oh, no, it's not that thick. No, big old dandy. That's for sure. Cool. I love dandy buttons. I don't dig a ton of them. I dug about 10 last year, I think. But that's a nice one. I'll brush it off real quick. I'll let you know if there's something on the front. Well, Lou got something kind of cool. What do we have? You said you have a token? Yeah, a little one. 
One oh, fair. Yeah, one of those little transit tokens. That's cool. Is it bus or train stuff? Uh, I thought both. those were buses, but I could be entirely wrong. It says Connecticut on oh, it. Oh, that hit low yeah. on the AT Pro. Nice. 60s. Uh, yeah, it was a yeah, 50, 50 59. 60. Wow. Cool. I think it was a 59. Morgan Dollar! <laughs> <laughs> I tried to not do the live dig curse because I had a good signal. And it turned out to be a mercury dime. It's really worn and I could have sworn I saw a 16 on there. So I'm going to uh, spray this off and I'll let you know what it is. Nice Wouldn't job, cool Steph. Good job. What if it's a D? That would be amazing. Heck yeah. <laughs> I hope it is. All right. Be right back. All right, so I cleaned this up. It's not a 1916. I thought it was, but I was seeing things naturally. It's a 1919, super duper worn. I can't see if there's a mint. Uh, the back is incredibly worn out. So this was in circulation for a long time. Ring up pretty low for a dime. It was about a 24, 25, but there's a ton of iron out here. So it's pretty cool that the Equinox squeaked it out. All right, moving right along. Well, I'm working around these beautiful old apple trees out here in the backyard. And I just tripped across a 19 signal that was very shallow, so I thought it was just going to be maybe a zinc penny. But it's actually some kind of buckle. Looks like a suspender clasp. And um, it's incredibly shallow, and I, I think that this is probably at least 100 years old, given the patina on the brass. So that's a good sign. I'll keep playing around in here and let you know what's next. So Doug thinks he has something good over here. Go, Lou. Good, I, already it. I know, but I want to. That's the center right there. It. With your big core, you suck with pinpoint. <laughs> I want to let people hear it. Let's see how. And you're live! Dig Doug in Woo! 10 minutes! <laughs> I guess I'll let Lou narrate. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Steph! Goodbye! Dude, that sounds like a 1248. Oh, 1244. 1244. I think it's a small silver coin. Maybe a one real. No, it would be. No, it'd be. It'd have to be a thin one real. Oh, it's not that hard either. Good. Well, it, look at you got me in your shadow. Just don't scratch the go. thing. Try not to. I'm not the best at pinpointing. You know that stuff. <laughs> I did it <laughs> for you. Do. Could be a clad dime. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking earlier about how much we hate clad dimes. Oh, it's not deep. It's okay. I just found a like a hundred year old suspender class that wasn't deep. And that Merc wasn't deep. No. Where is this thing? Please be in the hole, Phil. Did you check the plug? Big dug in. Oh, yes. Oh, it's deeper, guys. Oh, it's going to be gloriousness. Oh, it really is. It really is. <laughs> We're going to have to celebrate. Oh, I just put my shovel right through it. Yeah, oh, you man. did. I heard that. <laughs> Clink. Oh, it's a septic. Is it really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not. <laughs> It'd be a real small septic. puts a hole in it. It's going to put a dent in this permission, huh? A little damper. <laughs> okay. Come on. There you go. Hey, you were just totally off, like we yeah. talked about. Shh. Sidewall. <laughs> oh, look at That's where I dug. Right there at the top. That's where you pinpointed, Lou? That's exactly where I pinpointed. Oh. Coin, 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 silver. <laughs> coin, coin, coin. Button. Button. For the eagle. Really? Possibly. Anchor. Well, wait a minute. I don't know what it is. Let me wipe it. Is that a state seal? No. I think it's an anchor. Yeah. Is that navy? Yeah, I think, usually. I think it's a navy. It's not the marine. Nice. No, it's, I don't know. I don't believe it's a marine. It might be. And then not getting anything off the back, and unfortunately, that's what's going to dictate how old this is, but... Probably early 1900s. Yeah, it could be. I don't know, but that's late, a pretty late, button. Late I'd be happy with that. Yeah, I'm happy. Nice. So, it was about a 24 on my machine. On Doug's, he said it was a 1240. And See it there? Yeah, that's another silver thimble. That's another silver thimble. There it is. Again... I don't think it's silver. It's just silver thimble. They come out like white looking like that. Do they? Yep, yep, it's silver. All day, every day. Look at that. 
So cool. <laughs> I just found the other one right over here, too. Oh, man. I'm going to hang out in here. Like, maybe I'll find another one. Sweet. Wow. Let me see that cool stuff. Yeah. This one's a little older than the other one, I think. Just a little bit. Wow, yeah. That it must have been over here sewing or something, huh? Uh, I would guess so. Wow. That was a 1240 on my CTX. So how long have you been detecting? Five years. So he's found no silver thimbles until today. Now he's yep. got two. Yep. It's Doug's day. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Woo. Copper Whopper, staff. <laughs> yep. Doug just got what he's been looking for all day. Even oh, more really than the silver it. thimbles. I think she's pretty toast. I think so, So too. thin. It was a 38, which is like the lowest you'll ever get a copper unless it's counterfeit or something. But it's the, the, it was like mud, black mud. Yeah, you're not getting anything off of that. I but don't think so. It certainly does look like a copper, yeah. and that's what matters. Yeah. So, yeah, here Thank we go. You. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! Doug's day. Yeah, it's the Doug show. Sorry, Steph. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I'm doing all right today. I yeah, got my silver. Are. We all are. You know, yeah. Well, this is another plug that took me almost 10, 15 minutes to chop through because the ice layer out here is four to five inches deep. So very, very tough. But I got yet another dog tag. And today, between the three of us, we found a 1927, 28, and 29. So let me get the date off that for you and I'll be right back. All right, so it's another 1928. Pretty much says exactly the same thing as the other one, so not terribly exciting, but hey, we have a little bit of daylight left, so I'll let you know if anything comes next. Well, everyone, that's all the time we have for you today, um, and I'm actually going to skip a wrap-up this week because I have a really bad case of poison ivy on my hands, and I don't think anyone wants to see a close-up of that. I certainly don't. Anyway... Doug had an amazing day, and it was really, really awesome to see him just win the day for once, if you will. So, my previous joke about Lou was obviously in jest, and Lou's a fantastic detectorist and usually kicks everyone's butt, which is why I said, Hey Doug, it's really cool that you're winning for the day. Just in case anyone thinks I was actually picking on Lou. I wasn't. Now, we actually did a return trip to this site just last weekend, and we did really, really well again. So, I think we'll be going back there for quite some time, and I can't wait to drop that video. Now, as always, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss a thing if you enjoyed this video. And with that, we will see you next week.